Oratorio. This is a building game, and I'm going to give it a little demo of it. Let's go through the first steps, which is kind of a tutorial for it. This game is like the uh, Total Annihilation <clears throat> and the uh, Crush, Kill, and Destroy, which are kind of isometric overhead games. So wait, he landed in the escape module. There's a shipwreck from a spaceship. Window up here showing us our current task. Here's the player. On the keyboard, we're using the WASD to move around. Okay. And uh, what it'll do is ask me, give me objectives here for this. Uh, test here. Check there's something in this ship. So let's go over here. Alright. There's eight plates. We're going to put them in my inventory. Drag and drop. Press E to close. Open the GUI. There's crafting recipes right over here. So I'm going to craft this iron axe. Shows down here the ingredients being put together. And it made an iron axe. And if I hold the button down here with the axe, it will let me get various resources. Okay. We're going to mine some iron ore. And iron ore is used for almost everything in this game. <laughs> Let's see. If I can only smelt that iron somehow. Okay, once a stone furnace. It's showing me it needs five stones, so let's get five stones. <clears throat> Excuse me. Alright. Craft a furnace down. Puts it down here in the quick bar. So, we're going to take it and deploy it here. Drag and drop. It's telling me the fuel icon, it needs coal. So earlier I had mined three coal, so let's put that in there. Maybe we take some of this iron ore and also drag it as a resource. Now it will smelt it into plates. The plates can be put down in your inventory. Retrieve the plates. Now it wants a burner mining drill. So we need a stone furnace and an iron plate. So we need some stone and iron. You can see the number go up there for each time I get one of these items. For the resources. This game, I do not recommend it if you have a life, because this game takes a lot of time. I personally decided not to play it, but I'm going to play it uh, just to show you guys what it's like. It's really neat. It's just to really do everything, it seemed like it would take forever. Okay. We need iron plates, so I believe we need to add more iron. My little, little bit of coal. We can add these to the fuel, keep it going. Get some more iron. So it is tedious, but just a really fun game. You, you can build some amazing stuff with it. Good rainy day game, uh, winter game. If you've got a lot of time to burn. Okay, now we can craft this burner mining drill. Place the mining drill over some resources. So we grab it over here, place it on the resources. I'm going to tap R to align the square 
insert some fuel. So we need some coal. Take two coals. We'll put it in here. Now she's mining. What we'll do is it'll drop it right off the edge. So it wants us to come over here and we press F and that picks up the iron. We can come over here and put the iron in get another plate. So it wants us to craft a wooden chest. And that was from earlier when I went over and had chopped trees to get the wood. Now I have the chest. We're going to put it right at the output. Okay. And so it will basically take this extra box, put it back over here to free up the uh, handler. Now we'll see that <clears throat> any resources mined here will go into the wooden chest. This is where you can also place conveyor belts and other things to get just tons of resources. Okay, so we're going to go to the next level. And this is kind of the demo here. So. Alright, abandoned mining site. Okay. Put fuel in the burner inserter. So this is taking fuel, taking uh, resources and putting it into the box. That way you can have multiple. Tells us to look in the wooden chest and there's some stuff in there. So we're going to take all these items. Okay, it wants us to equip the gun. So we're going to put the gun down here in the slot and the ammunition over here. The trigger is the space bar. Okay. Oh, here they come. Woo, open fire, open fire. We got some aliens dead. All right, the aliens didn't, didn't like us coming to their planet and uh, mining their resources. We want to be to reverse this, so that's the R key in the right direction. And we're going to put some fuel in there. Okay, it wants us to build four mining drills, or ten mining drills, excuse me, and five stone furnaces. So we need some stone. Probably can uh, pick some plates out. stone. Yeah, so I want to automate mining this stone since it would take forever to manually retrieve it. So by banking the drill, put it on the stone, rotate it down, and we want to make a box. And put the box right here. And now we need some coal. Okay, so now we'll be mining stone from here. Fuel's getting low. Take it from here. You drop it right back in there. Keep things going. <clears throat> when these exhaust the resources here, what they'll do is they'll leave a blank spot. So, with this transport belt, what I can do is lay one right here. And if I wanted to put another plant there, it would 
increase that. Okay, so we're out of uh, coal. Stone. We're going to have it run for these stone furnaces. Oh, here comes aliens. Fire, fire, fire. So it's using up our magazines here. <clears throat> and his health bars right down here. So he's at 95%. And I believe it wants us to deploy the stone furnaces. Okay, so now we have five of them deployed. We need to make the mining drills. So it needs stone furnace prerequisites. <clears throat> and as you can see, this game for some people will be completely boring. For others, it, it's really creative. A lot you can do to the game. So we're not going to spend too much time on it today, just the basics. All right. What do we need? We need five more machines. Just gotta manually get some stone here to build another couple of them. We'll get ten stones, which will make us uh, two furnaces. So it's basically giving me a component when I do that. If you look down there, it says needs five stone, make two of those, and then to make this, it, it's consuming that. So we got four. All right. Now, I think it wants us to actually deploy these. this I turn it all right once additional resources iron plates in that. All right, copper plates. Let's get this copper going. What I want to do is align it down, put the box under here, and let's get some coal and put it in there. Get that sucker going. Okay, we take this copper, get this going, making copper plates. So it wants 50 copper plates. So as you can see, we've added copper and coal, and together it's outputting the plates. If we put stone in there, we make bricks. <clears throat> Now on the lower right, you'll notice my uh, pickaxe, it actually will wear down, and after a while you'll have to come over and make another one. Let's 
get some wood. Make a couple of boxes. Okay, now if I want to add more copper up here, what I'm going to do is just pick up one of these by uh, right clicking the right mouse key and then redropping it over here. And then putting the box down. And we'll go get some fuel. All right, because we need more copper. And as you can see, the amount of time we can waste on this. Forty-three. Check our iron plates. Okay, I'm manually tapping F here to pick up some of the iron. Keep that going. Just pick this up since we're not using it. Oh, comes some enemy. Tastes like chicken. So, we still need iron plates. So let's switch this to iron. Okay, 52 more iron plates. Okay, got all the resources together. Okay, this is going to show us uh, how to do the basics of the electric grid. down some trees we're going to want to build some power poles 
I don't have them in the uh, inventory yet. Build an offshore pump. That would be this. We'll put some fuel in that. And we're going to place the pump right here. Okay, now the pump is on that. Let's see, what is, else does it want us to do? <clears throat> okay, there's the power poles. Let's make a few of those. And we'll deploy them. Okay. And it wants us to build some radars. All right. So we want to put a box. Oh no, the box. These are going that way, so we don't need the box there. Pick that back up. Um. Oh, okay. This needs a power line for the grappler. There we go. Now it's loading coal into the box. All right. Put some coal in all three of these. And this will show us some of our performance here. So it wants us to get iron and copper. And now it wants us to build some lamps. There's the lamps. Let's build one. Okay, we we'll deploy it near the power grid. And then we have a little bit of light. So it's saying it wants an iron plate. Put a couple of smelters. Oop. Got to close that. Fire, fire, fire. Fire, fire. Kill. Suckers. And that's it. If you've got inventory open, you have to hit E to close it. It kind of sneak up on you with that. All right. Copper plates. So we need another drill and come down here to our copper resource, place it, and put a box for collection, and it's going to want some fuel. <clears throat> so you can see a lot of running around in this game. Okay, we have the fuel in there. You gotta remove the other element or it can't stack it in there.
Okay, we got 32 of those. We just need a few more iron plates. me to build a radar. And build in a turret and a couple magazines. Now the radar, we're going to put it over here with the power grid. And we're going to add a pole to it. There we go. Pole to the general area. turret over here. Wants ammo. So we have to make some of these. Oh, forgot about that. <clears throat> okay, so we're probably going to want us to build another radar. Once we hit 50, we'll be done with this uh, training. Uh, let's see here. We need an electronic circuit, iron, and iron plates. Okay, one more radar. You'd be able to fall back to a turret. See that turret took care of it. We'll go ahead and place this guy there, and we'll stretch this out. Okay. So we want uh, iron. 
plates. fill this up while we're here make a turret for this put these two magazines in there okay Another magazine. Check the turret. Still plenty of ammo. turret, two ammos, yeah, we need some wood, some more poles, now let's deploy this
Oh, I got, I got killed. <laughs> so that shows you basically how the basics of the game. <clears throat> if I had a turret there, which I had in my inventory, then I would have, uh, I would have lived. So that's a pretty fun game. It gives you a little bit of idea of the game. <clears throat> it's a lot of complex stuff you could, you can make in there. So hope the video was not too long. Thanks, guys.